Hello everyone and welcome to the Brian Underhill channel. I wanted to make the first video on this channel about why I love Minecraft because for me the story is an interesting one. It's been an adventure. It didn't start the way you might think it would start and I've gained a lot along the way in ways that I wouldn't expect. Minecraft is a really special game. Um, by sales, it's the most successful game ever. It's also, in my mind, the most successful game in terms of reaching out to both genders, player bases on boys and girls, um, age ranges. Children love Minecraft. Both my kids love Minecraft. My son doesn't play anymore, but he sleeps in a Minecraft sleeper almost every night, and all his stuff is Minecraft. Adults play it. Um, serious people who've gotten on with their life still enjoy the game. Um, it's really special. So I wanted to talk a little bit today about my perspective on why Minecraft is so special, or at least why it's so special to me. So I actually started playing Minecraft on mobile. My son had watched a Minecraft YouTube video and had gotten Minecraft on his Kindle. He was three or four or five years old, and I had to figure out the buttons on how to play this game that I'd, I'd heard the name. I had not seen any footage or pictures um, at this time. I didn't really know that you could watch tutorials on YouTube or look stuff up on Reddit or Discord. I'm, I'm a millennial, but I was basically a baby boomer uh, for all intents and purposes. So I will never forget getting Minecraft Bedrock on my phone Having no idea what to do, I didn't even know how to open the crafting menu, and I spent three hours as a good dad trying to figure out this game for my son. And I spent most of that time living in the river like a river monster, because I couldn't figure out how to craft a torch. And at night, the only way I could think of to survive was to hide in the river. This was before Drowned Zombies. And the river was the only place bright enough because of the water effect that I could see. And when I finally died, I had like 22 experience points, even without figuring out how to make tools, just from punching animals and eating the raw meat. So uh, needless to say, eventually I, I figured out how the game worked and went on um, to get Java and play with some real life friends on uh, an SMP. I was a server owner. I was the most terrible server owner in history, so that that was short lived, and I'll I'll probably never do that again. But uh, that that happened, and now, as I said, it's become a big part of my life. Um, for me, Minecraft has been really interesting because almost everyone in my family has some artistic talent. Uh, they can sing, they can draw, they can paint. Everyone but me. Everyone but Brian. And I never really thought that I had any artistic talent. I can't sing. I can't dance. My mother put me in painting and piano, but they didn't really take. I never thought that I would make anything that anyone would call beautiful. When I started playing Minecraft, I looked at the game as a survival game, and I thought this is all about surviving. So what looked beautiful to me at first was leveling out the land and cutting down all the trees and all the vegetation and all the nature and then putting stony concrete blocks there to make it square and, and that that seemed beautiful to me at the time because it was safe and then as as i played the game more i started to develop some artistic ability that was really interesting to me because i had never shown any artistic ability in any other medium that i'd tried Fast forward a few years later, and I indeed am creating things that people would call beautiful. So Minecraft is special to me. I never thought that I would get to make something that I thought was pretty. And now I can play Minecraft, and it's given me a part of myself that I never thought I would find. Because I've discovered that the creative, artistic beautiful part of my brain. Doesn't really connect to my hand with a pencil or a paintbrush or with a musical instrument, but it does connect with placing blocks. I can express myself that way and I can bring to creation the pictures that I see in my mind. And then I can share those with others. And that's the other beautiful thing that Minecraft has done for me 
is, uh, well, one, I've learned a little bit how to use technology. Not a lot, but a little bit. You know, I know how YouTube works now. I have a channel. I know how Discord works. Um, I started a writer's guild with Discord to feed my writing habit and, and goals there. And I never would have developed the, what would you call it, the, the acumen of internet internet savviness to do that without learning it from my Minecraft friends. And many of my Minecraft friends have become almost uh, real life friends in that we know each other's names, we know what's going on with our lives, and we call each other, you know, we have our phone numbers, and I never thought I'd be the sort of person to have those sort of online friends. But I played a lot of Minecraft during the pandemic, and that was a lonely time. And you know what? Minecraft and my Minecraft friends were there for me. So, it's, yeah, it's been a journey. Minecraft has been special. And even though I'm 33 years old, I'm a husband and father, I'm a, a nurse by career, I have a profession, I have real-life stuff to do, I love to be outside, I love to make fire pits in my backyard and barbecue stuff, I love to do things with my kid and my wife. Minecraft is a part of my life, and I think it'll continue to be because of how it's allowed me to connect to people who are different than me, living in places I may never visit, and it's allowed me to connect myself to these beautiful landscapes I can create that I wasn't able to create any other way. And other surprising things that maybe I haven't yet discovered, because nothing that I gained from Minecraft happened by design. It was all a beautiful mystery. So... That's what I love about the game. That's how I like to play the game. So for me, the game is beautiful and it always will be. And that's why I love Minecraft. <laughs>